all you cool kids, this is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRoads.net. Coming out to live from my craft room here with an impromptu video. I am going to be um, using this um, Patty Stains, uh, or sorry, Stains by Patty Pockets uh, by my friend Patricia Veramontes. She sells this on her Etsy store. So if you want to check it out and support a local female, uh, well, local here in California, I think that's where she's from. If you want to support a uh, small business crafter, she is, I don't know if she's making these herself, but she's selling this and it is an awesome product. Uh, awesome product. I am going to be uh, demonstrating it for her. Uh, she has her own uh, channel where she explains it herself. Um, and I can link to all those here in one second. I thought I had the link. I did. It was in, it's in the description. So one second, we are going to be basically decoupage and um, decoupage and coffee staining in one step. I've been uh, thinking about what to do with this product, and that is what I have come up with. Uh, staining is by. If you just look up Stains by Patty Pockets, you'll find it. It's the first link here. Let me get the link. Stains by Patty Pockets. Okay, so here is her link to the listing. And um, I did this earlier with a, um, with a, what is this called? The, the addition cards, the multiplication cards, but this one's addition. I basically decoupage tissue paper. I have a nice selection here of different tissue papers. I know, right, Letitia? Crazy. I'm here <laughs> again. Um, so I have a nice selection of uh, tissue papers to use to decoupage on a bunch of little things that I have pulled out from my drawers, um, some more addition cards, different kinds, and these cool index cards, this different kind of big note card. I'm going to go ahead and stain and decoupage on them. I thought it would be fun. So basically, you can make your papers look aged while you're decoupaging. So I you basically use this as glue. I don't know what is in this stuff, but it smells delicious. <laughs> I want to, like, pour it over my pancakes. It just smells like coffee. I love it. I love it. So I'm using just some um, paper from the back of my heat and bond just so that I can have a surface to get messy on. And I also have my ironing pad behind me. So because I'm gonna be using my heat gun to dry it. Uh, so let's get going. I'm gonna be using my silicone brush. I think she uses a regular brush in her video, in her demo video. But um, I usually use a silicone brush. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Um, I'm gonna be decoupaging on this little library card first. So what I like to do is I like to shake it because then you can work with what's on the cap. And I can put this part away. So basically I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you can just use this just to dye your papers. And I think she, it's, it's a pretty reasonably priced product. So I just put it on here like I'm gonna glue it, like basically like it's my glue, that's what I'm doing. Then I also been using it to seal. So see, I'll, I'll pull it down like this and then I'll go around it just to pat it down. Again, it's, it's stick. It's like a sticky syrup consistency. Very interesting. Cover the rest over here. I love decoupage, you guys. It's just such a mindless activity you could be doing. You know what I mean? Like, so chill, very chill. Uh, let's put this right here. Let me use my little pokey tool to hold this down while I pat it down with my other hand here, just so it gets a hold of the paper. Like that. And put like a smaller strip of something. <clears throat> I guess I don't have any small strips, so I'll just use this right here. 
We're going to secure it down. Then I'm going to put some down here at the bottom because I need to put like a little strip right here or something. Actually, I could probably repeat this one up here. No, it needs to be <clears throat> longer than that. Ah, this is pretty right here. I don't know if this is long enough. Oh, it will have to be. Let's close here. Let's pick this up a little bit. <laughs> it's a little stuck to my surface. So I just use a towel to kind of wipe it off. So that way it's not getting all over my fingers. Oops, got some dirt. Okay. I'm going to use the remainder of the product here back onto the card. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut all the extra pieces off. A little rough at first because I'm going to cut them down correctly in the next step actually. They're a lot easier to cut when the paper is hard. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go back, and basically I've been using this as a sealant also. I'm going to go back and put the, uh, the product again. I'm going to need more this time. It's like a syrupy consistency. Very cool. Uh, Denise, hi. Well, that's thing too behind you. Yeah, girl, pull it up. It's awesome. You can use it as like a sealant. It's right here. And then it coffee dyes it like at the same time. It's freaking awesome. Awesome. I don't know what it is. It smells like pancake syrup. I can't tell you what it tastes like because I won't lie. I have not tasted it. I want to. <laughs> it smells just like coffee. The consistency of syrup. Okay, so let me go ahead and dry this. I'm going to close it just because I don't want to spill it because I would. Because I would. I'm going to go ahead and hit mute because I'm going to um, be with my little leaf, my little blower. I want to say leaf blower, but obviously it is not a leaf blower. Okay, one second. We mute. I'll be right back. Okay, and uh, it does dry pretty nice. Again, it makes the tissue a little bit stiffer too, so I can cut it. So you can see the difference between what it originally was and what it ended up being. I think I'm actually just going to coffee stain the back of this. Just so you have that way it's decorative here and then a little bit more functional in the front. So let me get stains back out. Hi, Eula. Are they fall colors? <laughs> it does look good a little bit when you cough dye it. So again, this is a product by Patricia Vera Montes. 
So if you think she's awesome, go ahead and uh, purchase this from her Etsy. She sent it to me to try out to show you all. And you could do different layers of color. Here, as you can see from the back of here, it kind of got splashed. So right there, it's basically double stained. So that also makes it a little bit interesting. Let me go ahead and dry this. <laughs> I forgot to hit the meat one second. This is really loud. <laughs> So it looks really cute on the areas where it has like two stains basically. That like where it's double stain. You could go over it again if you wanted to and uh, stain it some more. I have done that also. This is pretty dark as dark as I like it and that looks nice too. So the syrupy parts that get left over here might stain the other side of where you're not working. But you know what? That's kind of the, the look we're going for anyways. So I love it. You might get a different effect if you use a brush instead of the silicone brush. Um, but I like the effect that, that it gets. As you can see, it's a little bit different on some sides. And I really like the decoupage, basically, and coffee dye in one, in one. I am loving that look. It would look a lot different if I didn't use this product. So I'm happy with it. And it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells amazing and so far i am liking it let's take a pause something else i got this little um folder file here uh, i've had this for a while i think it's from we are memory keepers like some old sets of them okay so let's get out the stain and start our decoupage as you can see it turns it into a nice brown love it and we're going to put this butterfly on this half right here. And I like to use an old cookie tool to hold the stuff down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That needed a little more. Get a little bit more wet. Okay. And on this side, I'm going to put a bigger part of that. So I have a bigger section of that. Here we go. Put this butterfly over here. Oh, let me see. Let me figure something out. This butterfly is going to be up like this. This one. Okay. Okay. I think I have to put it upside down. I think either way it doesn't it works actually. Sounds good. So let's get the steams on this. Again, I don't use much of it on this part. It doesn't really need much. Oops. So thank you so much to Patricia for sending this to me to try out. It's awesome, actually. Let me go ahead and dry this one second. Where you get your library card and receipt papers. These library cards um were from an auction on some somebody's youtube channel and i can't remember which one and receipt papers i don't have any receipt papers here but i get them from the dollar store whenever i when i do it sometimes from mexico let me dry this one second
cannot remember that YouTuber's name, my bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this out. Pretty delicate thing to cut out here. my round cutter with that. Second. Okay. And it's already technically decoupaged. I like to put on one more coat to make it look more brown. Um, and also to almost like seal it. It almost acts like a sealant not very shiny um it is it's not exactly matte it's more like a satin finish i'd say so it's not exactly entirely shiny but it is um i like the finish it's nice it's nice i don't know what this stuff is made out of but it's some magical stuff <laughs> good work patricia it's nice to see Nice to support other women crafters, you know. That is what is up. Okay, so I didn't do the best job at cutting it. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe I could sand it down or just my finger kind of smooth it over. Actually, that works. <laughs> this is my finger kind of, it's tissue paper, so it's pretty easily manipulated. So that's great. Hang on, I just got to cut this side out. Okay, so here is this. Let me go ahead and do a sealant, basically a seal on the color here. Again, it makes it a little bit darker, the brown, and also it seals it, which I love. I don't know if that's what it's intended for, but it's great. I've also used this on my inkjet printer printables, and it does not make it run, so that's great. Product to coffee stain after you um, print it. And I think she's used it on her laser printer, I believe she said. Let me dry. I have seen a few channels now that says non girls products that they purchased. Kill you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I appreciate your support. Give me one second. I have got to mute. Hey Patricia, how are you? I've seen a few of those uh, YouTube craft auctions. They do them on Facebook Marketplace too. Have you ever considered doing one daily? <sighs> They're so highly organized. <laughs> They're so organized, I don't know. I've considered it because I do have some things I need to sell. Again, I'm gonna come back and actually like seal this because I'm gonna do the inside. On the inside, let's go ahead and stain it so you can have somewhere to write on. What I'm going to do on my next one, did I have another one of these? No, I didn't, but I'll do it on the next one. I'm going to do a heat emboss on one of them because I did do that on the original. Thing I showed again. I'm using a silicone brush. Maybe I'm gonna get more use out of the product. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Um, Patricia has her own video on how to use this, and I'm not sure if there's a reason why she uses a regular brush. 
Y'all know me. I really just prefer my silicone brush. And I don't mind seeing the little brush strokes in the final product. I just like my silicone brush. <laughs> okay, so on the next one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the extra step um, like I did on this um, edition card. I went ahead and I stamped um, with some Versamark, with some... Um, watermark stamp pad for embossing and I embossed some uh, lines with my awesome uh, Viva Las Vegas line stamp. So I'm going to do that on the next one. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay, so let me dry this one second. And it dries pretty good, actually. Nice and flat, nothing really warps. Very good, very good, very, very good. And like I said, it gives it more like a satin finish. It's not shiny, it's not entirely matte, but it is not shiny. And uh, the it looks like it comes off almost like a syrupy consistency. See that? That's how it comes off my um what I would call a craft mat, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this works just like a craft mat. So you can literally just scratch it off of here. I'm just kind of drying it just to make sure that it doesn't stay syrupy on my surface. Again, it smells so good. <laughs> Stuff smells amazing. <laughs> okay, so there's these two. That was fun. They look nice and distressed and everything. You could also use this just to coffee dye, even if you're not going to decoupage on it. Just smear it on, and uh, basically you're coffee dyeing without all the real actual coffee dyeing mess, right? Okay, so let's do this one right here. It's a uh, subtraction card. use this again. It is good stuff. Gonna shake it so I can get some on the lid. This was not a pay sponsorship. My friend just sent it to me to try out. I always make videos so of course I'm making the videos here with Shaw. So let me go ahead and uh Go ahead and do that here. I'm going to decoupage on one side, and on the other side, we are going to also decoupage, but we are going to heat emboss on this one. So it's going to be a little bit different. A couple more steps. A couple more steps. Actually, let's see. This one, this one looks beautiful. There's so much pretty tissue paper. A lot of y'all have sent, kindly sent me some tissue paper. At one point, I didn't have much of it, and now I have <laughs> an abundance. And I'm so thankful. Y'all are too nice to me. Too nice. Okay, so kind of dragged it a little bit. I need to just stick it down a little bit more. Like that. Put a tiny bit. I just kind of use that to smooth it out a little bit. Okay, so again, I'm using this as glue, as it, pretty much as a glue layer. Let's I have this beautiful script paper I can put right here. Somebody sent me a present and they wrapped it in, this, in these awesome tissue papers. Too nice, too nice, y'all. Too nice. Let's see here. Ah. Yeah, this would be cute here. Okay. Tissue paper has a bunch of cat hair. <laughs> and it's because it's at the very bottom of my of my cubbies and my cat. My cat's bed is around there. 
Okay, so there's that. Nice big old mess here. Let's take a podge right on top. Well, let's put more syrup right on top. Syrup stain. <laughs> it has a consistency of syrup, so that's why I keep calling it syrup. <laughs> and it smells like syrup. It smells so good. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to get the most I can out of this product because it seems awesome. I'm going to come up with different ways to use it or watch her video again and demonstrate the same way she uses it. Okay, before I wipe my tissue paper because I'm getting into it. Let's dry this. So one second. I'm going to make a mute. Okay, let me kind of get it off the paper here. I'm just going to go ahead and like pat this dry so I don't get any syrup on the other side. Though I really don't mind. These stains right here will just turn darker, but I'm not going to use them right now with this, this thing I'm going to make. So let's get this off here. It can be a little bit more precise in the next step. A little soggy right here. Just a little soggy. Okay. I'm going to take a pot on this side too. So if you're just tuning in, I'm using uh, oof, oof, I almost spilled it. My heart almost exploded. I'm using stains by Patty Pockets. Let me close this jar so I can show. <laughs> stains by Patty Pockets. It's an awesome product by um, our very own Patricia Vermontes. Hey, Kay, how are you, girl? Nice to see your name. Um, so I'm using this awesome product by our um, awesome uh, uh, YouTuber. Patricia Veramontes, the uh, queen of pockets. She has come out with this product, which I don't know what it is. It's magical. <laughs> it is um, this syrupy product that coffee stains, and it almost seals. It almost, it, it almost acts like a sealant. So I'm, like, really excited about it. I am loving it for this decoupage. I'm being way too picky with my papers for this decoupage. Way too picky. But let's, ooh, let's put this little bird. So I'm using it as glue, basically, right now to hold my napkins down. Maybe I could use something else to make it last a little bit longer. But anyways, I am loving it. We're going to put this little bird right here. And we're going to put something here. I'm also smoothing it out just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit smoothing it out. I'm finally, I'm happy to finally catch you up. I know, I need to do some more um, daytime lives. <laughs> I seriously need to consider um, more daytime lives. But I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm really in the mood to craft, like right now, I just want to do this random project, this random demo for my friend. Tonight, I'm still gonna go live tonight working on my Christmas journal. So if you want to come check me out, uh, you can see how I'm progressing with that. Hang on, I'm being 
Again, I'm being picky. I don't like being picky. Let's do this right here. And then there's like this tiny little sliver that needs something right there. We'll just put this here. Okay. So let me go ahead. It's really killing me that this is so big. Just give me one second. You can cut it in the next step. I just can't deal. Okay, that's a sticky close. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go over it. And basically this stuff also acts like a sealant and a coffee stain at once. So that's why this is like in one product. Getting it on here and smoothing it out. I don't want to get the tissue paper too wet because obviously it's tissue paper. But I just want to make sure that I get the stain on here. Okay, that works. I might stain it again just to make it even a little bit darker just so you guys can see what that is like. I'm going to get all these little crusties off the side of the bottle. Probably shouldn't shake it every time. Just make it get some little crusties. Check it just wipe off. This stuff smells so good, y'all. I just want to drink it. <laughs> it smells like coffee liqueur. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey Monique, what's up, girl? Again. Let me mute one second. I gotta dry. Hello, Kate. Hello, hello. Welcome. Okay. Okay, so I've got syrupy on the other side, which in our case is great. <laughs> so I get kind of like a little bit of a double dose. Double dose here. Let me dry this just a little bit too. Okay, so this one I said I'm going to stain twice, so let me cut it out. So far I've only stained once, but you know what, you know what, let me try and make it a little bit darker because you can. If you want to, you just put a couple coats of it. Try not to cut the card, it's so hard. <laughs> so hard. Feel my way through the tissue paper here. This looks so pretty. Again, the finish that it gives us a sealant is more like a satin finish. It's not very shiny, but it is not completely matte. Let me get my sandpaper because I can't deal with this. These little edges. <laughs> These little edges, I can't deal with them not being perfect. And I cannot humanly make it perfect so I could just do a little sand sand paper action here. Try not to be so rough because it's still a little wet. There we go. That gives you a better finish there. Okay. There you go. Okay, so now let's do this again. Let's stain it again so we can see what it looks like. The double stain on top. Okay. 
I'll be a little bit more generous. So I've turned it darker. Still a lovely shade of brown. If you do purchase this, let her know. Daisy said she. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> just supporting her is awesome. <laughs> this is a great product, and I think all of us junk journalers will love it. Let me dry this in a second. I just poked myself. <laughs> I just ran and poked myself. Okay. I'm just gonna, I had a little bit too much syrup here in the corner. Okay, so here you can see that the difference between two coats, one coat, two coats, one coat. And now we are going to do the other side. Where was that napkin? Again, I'm just working with the back of the heating bomb here. So I need to reuse this stuff. And you literally could reuse it because everything you put on here pretty much comes off. Which is great. So it's almost like a craft mat. I want to say it's almost like a craft mat. I'm going to go ahead and stain this part one more time. Just for fun, just so it matches the front. This one might get a little bit darker because the colors are a little bit darker from the tissue paper to begin with. So again, here's a second coat. There we go, no hazard painting. <laughs> right, I'm gonna sue Patty Pockets. Is it sticky? It is sticky, it's like syrupy. Um, it smells delicious. <laughs> yeah, it is a little sticky. But you know what, it comes off your hand like it was gel. Like it peels off your hands, which is, I'm not, I think it's interesting. I think it's a little interesting. One second, let me dry this. Where did I get the silicone brush? I got them from Amazon. Let me get you the link. It is an affiliate link. It's actually my most purchased affiliate link. <laughs> Everybody loves these silicone brushes. I just completed a pink Christmas, not filmed it yet. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Kay says I need to do my Christmas journals as soon as I'm done with my poo ones. I'm marking on, ooh, that sounds cute. Let me go ahead and make sure this is dry because I'm going to emboss on this. So one second.
Yes, they dry nice. Dry, not sticky at all. It's not sticky when it's dry. Perfectly dry, not sticky. And for this one, I embossed both sides, which I think they look cool. I am about to take it a step extra and just emboss <laughs> on top, just for fun. Just for fun, I'm going to emboss some lines on here so it turns it back into a journaling card, basically. I'm going to work on that later. Or when I sew on it, you won't even be able to tell. You won't be able to tell, I swear. I've been working on my craft studio almost daily, so I'm almost open to papers. I will have a file for you. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Okay, so this looks awesome. I really love the look. I want to do something else on top just to be a little bit extra. I'm going to emboss. So this is not going to be using the patty pockets, but it's still really cute. Let me get another one of these. One second, because I want it to be nice and clean. When I embossed, do I even have it over here? Okay, I always have this stuff. Very rarely do I run out of this stuff. Okay, so uh, let me get all my embossing stuff. Just moving this out of the way. I have my little embossing pack right here. Okay. So I need stamp on it first, right? Okay. So I'm using this um, scrap piece of paper here. Gonna put this here. And we're gonna figure out where my stamp is gonna go. Now this stuff is awesome. It's a rubber stamp and it's from Viva Las Vegas stamps um they're actually here out here in las vegas um they have this awesome lined um stamp just a bunch of lines and it actually came in a square but i cut off the the frame part of it so now i'm gonna use it here i'm gonna leave let me see if i can get the link for that because i'm sure that you'd like to see it um let's see here um uh, I just because it is an awesome stamp, and uh, I want to support. I want to support um, my local businesses here. They are in Las Vegas. They make their stamps here in Las Vegas, and uh, I think everybody should check them out. This is an awesome stamp, and for the way that I use it, I used I bought rubber, unwanted rubber. It was only like eight dollars, so it's awesome. Here is the stamp, because I know people are going to like it. There, I don't know if they're open, but they have an Etsy store. Uh, line stamp right there. Um, they have an Etsy shop. I think this cost me like $11 to get it shipped to my house. But on Etsy, they don't call themselves the Las Vegas stamps. But when they mail it to, you, to me, when they mailed it, <laughs> when they mailed it to me, it said Viva Las Vegas stamps on it. So I was like, ooh, your Viva Las Vegas stamps are awesome, right? Okay, so here's where I'm gonna use the lined. I'm using my Vera Crafting uh, Stamping Platform, which I love. So this is why I like the unmounted stamps, because it just works that much better with it. Uh, let me get the link for the craft stamp stool. If you don't, if you don't have this stamp stool, stamp stool, stamp tool, you need it, yo. Okay, bye, Kay. Have a good night, girl. Okay, so I'm going to use my Versamark water stamp pad. It's just basically adhesive. And I'm gonna stamp here on the lines. I do it lightly because I actually do it two times. So I'm gonna do it very lightly. It's nice and blue everywhere. You won't be able to see it. So that's why I do it twice, just to make sure. Get to my blue. I've had this 
had forever, so maybe a fresh one would be the best. <laughs> but I've had this forever. I need to heat it up. And I've had this embossing powder forever. I always use white embossing powder just because I figure it would be the most versatile for me. So that's the only one I really have. My daughter's Girl Scout meeting was closed, so I walked there during long meetings. Okay, so here is this. Now, I'm just going to take advantage that, is, that I put this paper on here so I can put the embossing powder on. And I don't mess with embossing a lot, y'all. <laughs> y'all that visit my channel will no, I don't actually do a lot, a lot of stuff with embossing. It's just a little bit of a, of a messy process for me, but once in a while, I am in the mood to emboss. One second, let me shake it on the surface to get the uh, the rest of the embossing off, but you can see that looks lovely. Let me put this on back. It's gonna take me forever to use a bed embossing powder. I don't know. What. I don't know how people use up so much so much product. I cannot. <laughs> I've had this for years. <laughs> Hi Celeste. Put vegetable glycerin on cat. Hey, that's cool. Is that what it is? Is that what it all is that all it is? <laughs> Probably. Probably I'm easily fooled. Okay, so here's my card. Let me shake it off one more time. Final shake off. And now I'm going to heat a boss, so give me one second, I'll be right back. And I love that effect of the stark white lines against that coffee color. It really um, makes the white look super white. I think I'm going to do that on, uh, should I do that on this side or just, no, I'm going to do that on this side too. So let me just make sure there's no powder left. And let's do the next one. I'll have to move this because I don't know where it's going to be. So give me one second, I got to kind of pat it off a little bit. I'm going to move it. Do I treat my stamps the best? No, I don't. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm a little rough with my stamps. Okay. So let's put it where it's going to be, wherever it is. Well, actually, actually, I need my scrap piece of paper. Sure there's no pattern. Okay. Right here. Okay, and I use the unmounted and I just use a glue stick. I can clean this off, I can clean this off. Um, it's a lot more expensive to do it other way. So I just use a glue stick to have it stick onto the plastic platform here. I do eventually end up with a messy platform, but I'll just, I just clean it, so it's all good. Hi, Michelle. 
How are ya? And Jody, I read your comment, but I don't know if I said hi. Hi. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. So let's go ahead and add more verse and mark to this. And just makes the stamp sticky. Again, this is a stamp from Viva Las Vegas Stamp. I left a link to it. That's not an affiliate link. I just, they're a local business here. So I decided to share the link, y'all. Just out of the kindness of my heart. Because this is actually a really cool stamp. And I was looking for a stamp just like this a while ago, and this is it. I just wanted a nice, plain, stamped, uh, line stamp, I should say. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and they had it. I've gone there years ago. I have not gone there recently, but I've gone there years ago. Okay, so there's that. I need a bunch of lines on it. Now... Get my embossing powder. Maybe I put too much? I don't know. It ends up back in my bottle anyways. Okay, it's probably too much. <laughs> it's probably overkill. Looks like I messed up on the line. The line's down there. Oh, okay. It's a joke. Sorry, I'm like tapping it on the hard surface here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss that. Oh, I put this back in the thingamajiggy. I don't know if that's embossing powder. Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> Looked a little chunky. Okay, one second. You know what I just thought about? Like, um, specifically trying to make these patterns right here, these smears. I wonder if I can do that. Let me do that on the next one. Maybe we can make one look like a splatter effect or something. That'd be fun. Let's try it. Let me put this away because I'm done with this experiment. I will not be heat embossing. I just thought I'd show you because that's just, it's a fun process. <laughs> it's a fun extra process to do. So if you want to do that. Fun. Let me get my heat gun. Let me get y'all mute. One second. So here is the other side of these, and normally, of course, I would, um, I would <laughs> go ahead and sew around the edges and everything. But for right now, that is what it looks like when it is um, double, double uh, coated with the the stains. So that looks adorable. Now, before I log off, I am going to try something that I just thought about. I want to purposely add these stains, right? So. I want to purposely make it look all messed up. So I already have some on this paper here on the back of this heat and bond. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of try and squish it into place. Getting some of that extra off. And let's see if I can almost do like a fake jelly print. You know what I mean? Like, like a smush technique. If that's what they call it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some of the stains here on craft mat, <laughs> what I call a craft mat. Just go ahead and lay this on here. You get like a smush, right? That's a little interesting. 
Let me go ahead and dry this because I'm going to get different layers of coffee color. So one second, let me dry this. Okay, so this looks interesting. Let's go back and squish it down again. Very interesting. Just adding more and more. So you get like that ink, that coffee splatter effect. I love it. Let me dry this again. Okay, in case you're just tuning in, I'm using Stains by Patty Pockets, which is an awesome product uh, made, sold by our awesome Patricia Vermontes. I'm going to go ahead and actually stain the whole thing now uh, by Patricia Vermontes, and uh, she sells it on our Etsy shop, Etsy shop, so I'd love if y'all could support her, show her some love, and um, support each other here in this community. I know we all love to do that. And this is actually a really cool product. Um, very interesting, nothing like you'll find in stores. One of a kind, <laughs> she's the best. Let me dry this one second. So on this shiny paper, it is taking a little bit longer to dry, but as you can see, you can get different um, tones by just drying it in between smushes or, you know what I mean, putting some on top, doing a double, doing a double dip, uh, double stain on it. Looks really, really interesting. Um, it seems to be taking a little bit longer to dry on shiny paper than on regular paper, but it does dry and it, it shine, it, it dries shiny actually on shiny paper because this is a little bit of a shiny thing and that looks beautiful. I think I might go ahead and decoupage on the back of this just for fun right before I log off. So I think I'm still having fun with my decoupage y'all. I am, anytime I get back into my tissue paper, I'm like really back into my tissue paper. <laughs> and this just adds a nice, um, nice touch, you know, makes it a little bit more vintage than what I'm used to designing. Um, without the extra effort, which is why I don't usually distress things. But with this, definitely makes it all easy in like one step, one easy step, and I love it. So thank you so much again for uh, for sending this to me to Patricia. Uh, she was really nice enough to send it to me so I can try it out, so I can let you guys know how I feel about it. And I'm still going to come back and probably do other projects with it. 
I want to know what it's like, what it does to fabric. <laughs> That's an experiment I want to go into. So I think I might try that on my own. If it turns out well, I'll come back and do it live. We'll see. I don't know. I have hopes. I have hopes that this product is uh, even more versatile than what she tells you it is because I have been able to find a couple different ways now to use it. And of course, I'll be back to show y'all when I use it. What do I what, what do, I do with it? Because I know some of y'all have already ordered it. I've seen some of y'all say that you have not used it, but you have it. So let's get out and play with it. I think it'll turn out well. Yes, this right here. I usually have floral everything, so I have floral um tissue paper. <laughs> floral tissue paper here too. Again, I'm using it as glue. It's, I don't think she said it works as glue, but it's working as my glue here and I'm loving it. That's why I'm having trouble finding this stuff because I don't have it in front of me like this like I'm supposed to. Let's put this, it's just a line of it. And we'll put it right here. Definitely takes the, the hard job out of staining and uh, trying to age things. So I am happy with this product. Again, she charges a very reasonable cost for it. So if you're interested, please do support Miss Patricia Vera Montez and her awesome self and this awesome product here. I don't even think I have any here. Okay, just like any, any decoupage product, it's gonna work your paper a little bit. But don't worry, let me go ahead and dry this and I'll be right back. Very splotchy, must try. I bought some, but I haven't used it yet on my list to try this week. Thank you, Daisy, I'm glad I got you live on my peepers were open. Hell, <laughs> right? <laughs> One second. So as you can see, it does warp it initially, but then afterwards it just, it lays perfectly flat. None of these have warped, none of these have gotten wrinkled or anything like that. So, I mean, if you ask me, this is even better than Mod Podge if you're trying to uh, coffee dye because <clears throat> Mod Podge really does, it's very watery. So it will, um, it will wrinkle your stuff a little bit. Not too much, but I'm just saying this is awesome if you're trying to age stuff without the hassle of having to brew up the perfect pot of coffee. Because you can get different depths of colors. Oh yeah, this is some good stuff. So I'm gonna see what it does with some fabric. I'm gonna see what it does with other stuff. I'm gonna test it out. <clears throat> and of course I'll come back and I'll show you all what I found. Um, Again, I'm not sponsored, she didn't pay me, she just sent it to me so I could try it out. And um, thank you to Patricia for sending it to me. But I'm giving you my honest opinion here. This is some good stuff, y'all. <laughs> this is some good stuff. So again, I will be back tonight uh, to go live working on my Christmas junk journal. I'll be sewing in the signatures. So if you want to come follow along with me, come join me tonight. I go live at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time if you need to know what time. Or you can always come back and check out the replay the next day. I do pretty much post a new video every single day, you guys. So do, uh, if you are interested, please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, come back and check me out live. Or you can come back and... The next day, there'll be a new video for you, of course, on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to go ahead and coat this with another coat of the Patty Stains. It does, this is like a light um, distress, but I want to distress it some more. <laughs> so that is why I'm loving this product, because you can choose how dark you want it to be, which is great. You can do it just to your liking. 
can also just edge one side or just uh, distress one side and not the other side if you like one side. This is some good stuff, you guys. Check out her Etsy shop. I do appreciate her sending it to me. And of course, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Thank you guys for chatting with me. And uh, y'all can catch me tonight going live um, here on my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Thank you guys for keeping me company here on my live. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys tonight. Um, again, check out uh, Patricia Veramontes and her Patty Stains product. I am loving it. Really cute stuff. You can make some nice distressed and coffee dyed um, stuff without uh, all the hassle of coffee dyed. So thank you guys. I will see y'all tonight. Bye.